¿Qué te llaman? ¿Qué te llaman? Sir, shall we start the program, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am, we can start. We can start in another two minutes, ma'am. We'll just wait for two more minutes. Okay, 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 sure. Ma'am, we can start now. Okay, okay sir. Good evening, dear my esteemed participants. A very warm welcome to all of you to this faculty development program on the topic Empowering Educators for the AI Age, Day 3. Today, we have gathered here to explore the transformative potential of artificial intelligence in the field of education and to gain insights into how we can harness AI tools to enhance the learning experience for our students. And now I invite Mr. Murugan, Head Department of Business Administration, Don Bosco College, Yalegri Hills to deliver the, to introduce our Chief Guest, Mr. Valan Peter, for this session of our FDP. Welcome you, sir. Thank you, madam. Uh, good evening to all. Today, our chief guest uh, is our department faculty, uh, my brother. Uh, well, and I'm, I'm so happy to in introduce him, uh, the chief guest, and then my colleague is a technology person. 
maybe we we are we are learn last 3 years from many things uh, him the few uh, i think i maybe share to him is uh, a valen uh, currently is uh, uh, a position is a research uh, scholar in vat is mostly passionate with uh, technology and uh, uh, technology related teaching methodology and learning things uh, towards the student faculty and education institutions uh, was learning and teaching journey started especially for outside participation his education qualification is mba uh, in marketing and hospital administration savitra school of management chennai uh, he is also ugc net qualified uh, uh, december 2019 ug degree is btech uh, karunia institute of technology and science coimbatore uh, schooling chengalpet uh, was completed world uh, standard in 2010 and intense standard in 2008 uh, this may be his profile background uh, Uh, after ug degree was work as a marketing executive uh master executive was uh, ncr ncr marketing private limited uh, chennai after that uh, he joined uh, mba and after completion of net examination uh, 2019 uh, he started uh, his profession in uh, don bosco college his area of interest is mostly passionate with technology related to education especially for uh, Uh, teaching methodology and the pedagogy research and then uh, digital marketing uh, is passionate with the trainer as a trainer become as a teaching related uh, pedagogy and the technology trainer uh, many ai tools introduced in our institution also so that's why he was uh, uh, given training to some of the places uh, conducted uh, training few training i may be express here uh, he conducted uh, an online training session on uh, enhancing skill with online courses uh, panimala engineering college led a faculty development program on understanding digital uh, uh, dysfunctioning and intro a new norms of digital uh, citizen saint joseph college uh, sri barabattur as a resource person uh, for ieee chapter conference conducted by panimala engineering college uh, given training uh, part of clearing hr round and then uh, one more uh, a training a conducted artificial intelligence driven uh, computing skills uh, ai csr for 50 plus uh, the principals and secretaries a uh, 120 hour uh, training program was conducted he had some of the uh, special certificates a uh, seo and digital marketing uh, uh, certificate he had 2016 is completed digital teaching training at the academy He got uh, October 2020 fundamentals of digital marketing and Google digital uh, Google digital uh, gadgets, the social media marketing, uh, Upspot Academy, and then the PPC uh, fundamentals and uh, automation uh, certificates also he had. So we have vast profile. Few things only I expressed. Uh, uh, welcome you, Alan. Uh, welcome all the participant. You can uh, learn from Alan and enrich your. Uh, Uh, technology technology related uh, teaching skills and ai tools is thank you valan thanks to give the opportunity to do, introduce my brother valan uh, to you people thank you i want to kirtika madam thank you sir thank you for your uh, great introduction of uh, mr valan peter and uh, now i welcome uh, our uh, resource person mr valan Uh, to start the session welcome you sir so oh, i welcome our chief guest mr valan peter our resource person to start this session sir welcome you sir sorry uh, sorry for the interruption i got disconnected uh, due to network issue thank you murugan sir and th thank you kithika ma'am for the uh, introduction and welcome i hope uh, most of our participants have joined uh, am i audible to all we can use the uh, q and a to answer it 
Yes, yes, I get some thumbs up. Thank you. Okay, well. Um, yes, okay. So I I have posted a, a poll in our WhatsApp group. The first question is how many of you are using uh, chat GPT? Uh, it is like 50-50, is 50 and no 43. And uh, I also have another question. Have you tried AI tools? Uh, the yes is 41 and the no is 55. Uh, so just I'm going to ask one more question here. What are the AI tools you have explored in recent times apart from chat GPT? Those who said yes in your poll in WhatsApp group for the question, have you tried AI tools? I just want to quickly know what are the tools you have uh, tried? Those who mentioned yes for the particular question, uh, please. Okay, to me AI, good, right? Uh, we are going to uh, explore that also today. Okay, I got two answers. Mid journey, very nice, wonderful, and uh, generative AI by Canva, ChatGPT. Great, it's a, another great aspect of the Canva tool. We can we are going to check that also. Okay, Google Bot. Okay, Canva. Right. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, Perplex AI. Very good. Uh, okay. Any other any other responses from the audience? So in this session, uh, we are going to do mostly on hands-on. Uh, maybe since it is in a virtual platform, uh, you you cannot get the most out of it. But I'll try to uh, give you best possible. Uh, we we can deliver. Uh, we suggest this kind of trainings on a physical mode, where the audience and the trainer uh, collaboratively works and uh, solves the uh, issue. So I'm going to focus on very few tools, uh, tools which we will be uh, relying on for our teaching purpose. For example. Uh, content creation and uh, content posting and how to divide my lessons, how to bring the uh, innovative uh, methods for my classrooms. These are things we are going to discuss. And we are also going to see about uh, what AI can do to our teaching and uh, what could be the future of AI and the wide, uh, wide range of adoption is going on. I, uh, without uh, much delay, we can step into the session. I'll just start with one of the famous surveys from Oracle. I hope uh, most of you know about the Oracle. So there is no introduction needed about Oracle. See, Oracle has conducted one big survey on uh, why people are adopting AI in the industry. So the most of the people have answered, AI has changed the relationship between technology and work. For this particular area, see their people informed them that AI reduces their work burden and it gives more free time for them. And they can also learn a new skill and expand current role to be more strategic. See, these are the three major things when you implement AI. First one, you're going to create more productive time and you're going to learn new skills every day and you're going to be more strategic in implementing those tools. So these three aspects will be key in adopting AI in your work zone. So this is going to be real game changer for future. 
and uh, most of the tech companies started implementing AI in the basic roles and uh, they started uh, to replace AI in the position of human and we see a lot of uh, layoffs, a lot of attrition, a lot of job role change. These are things happening around. And this AI not only brings these three things, it also gives a new trust over technology. For an example, the second section of their particular survey talks about are the people trusting robots or managers? And surprisingly, the answers are people are started trusting robots more than the real humans. The reason behind the robots cannot come into a biasing situation. Robots cannot discriminate people or this AI tools cannot bring divide among the workforce. So it is like a trained model which works on a specific role, a specific strategy, and then it is going to impact the work life of the employee. It's going to impact the economy of the employee. So they all go for it. And the another aspect of this particular survey is managers need to take a new role, right? Uh, now we have an environment where most of the things may be in a biased situation. Most of the things may be involved in certain political view or the work, work, workplace politics. When you implement AI and when you implement certain roles done by AI, this biases and the workplace politics can be solved. And there is also possibility to solve more problems. And the other aspect of this survey is organizations to focus on simplifying securing AI or their risk being left behind. See, are they preventing you from using AI at work? It's a it's a big question, right? Uh, maybe uh, some of the tech companies already rolled out they cannot use ChatGPT. For an example, Apple has introduced the policy for the employees not to use any co-pilot or ChatGPT while they work or while they work inside the organization. And uh, this, there is a reason behind it. There is a security concern. There is a privacy concern. Even in today's scenario, as we talk about AI, still there are digitally focused steps digitally focused cheating and fraud activities happening around us. And when you imply AI in this kind of scenario, is there a question for ethical manners of human or the real human behavior, uh, how it can turn into? So this also we have to look into. So this AI, we cannot deny that uh, we can survive with the uh, AI. We cannot uh, tell we can omit AI from our workforce. We cannot tell AI will not replace my position or we cannot tell AI cannot do the specific job in future time. Maybe today the scenario may be different, but in future there is a possibility for all the possible use cases. So this is the matter of how we are going to handle the AI and how we are going to implement AI in our day-to-day -day life. So coming into AI in education, AI education is mostly on uh, in a positive manner, I would like to see. And uh, yes, there are a lot of discussions and debate uh, regarding this generative AI's role. Uh, most of you have answered for my question, how many have you used chat GPT? Most of you have told, the 50% of the group told, yes. And uh, if you consider it as a impact, we, we have to look into it uh, because the power of chat GPT, you might have experienced, it can create a content uh, which can be uh, 
reflecting the work of humor. So, and uh, there is an editorial, I, I, I will share it after the uh, session. And this editorial from Hindu on Tuesday 11, it talks about AI's destructive economy impact and Indian chain. See, we as a hub for technological development, we are still far behind in adopting AI in our world zones. For an example, uh, the even most of our schools and colleges doesn't have the data protection policies among ourselves. So there itself the problem begins. When you use AI, it's all about concern of privacy, data protection, and data sharing, and all those things. Still, we are not come to the uh, very strong data policies in our institutions. So that will be a big question. Whereas the opportunities, as this editorial this talks about, the impact of economy will be increased with a workforce trained with AI and AI-related tools. What is the scenario if we have we no need to have any programmers? See, one of the leading AI tool provider. Uh, uh, diffusion they told about the founder told in 10 years time there won't be coders needed for doing a technical work so AI can take care of it so most of our colleges and the institutions are crazily filled by the computing background students yes in engineering it may be different but most of the arts and science background students flock to BCA BSc computer science MCA MSc computer science data science and all those things and as i see as i explore some of the tools i could see these are the jobs can be replaced or uh, these are the activities can be replaced even i can figure it out what if it really happens that's a big question so the editorial strongly tells that ai has shaped into every aspect of global economy and its effects on productivity and growth is in an optimistic way. So, and yes, there will be debates, there will be discussions on negative aspect of the AI and the potential of it, but we have to use it for good. We have to teach people to use the technology for the good cause. And we have to train our youngsters in this particular area who are going to face a tremendous challenge when they're going to in the workforce. So with this note, uh, I'm going to introduce my first tool. Uh, most of you have opened the uh, chat GPT and tried it out 50% of your crowd. So others, if you are not sure of what is chat GPT, uh, we will just explore it here. Why I am going to start with uh, ChatGPT is it's very important. Uh, it is a, it's a very common tool that everyone how to access. Uh, for my understanding, we we cannot uh, deny ChatGPT from our day-to-day -day activity. So even I use very regularly, uh, and uh, I also have the, the subscription-based plan for myself for the past. Four to five months once the GPT-4 has introduced. So this session is kind of an, a brushing session for people already used Chat GPT, and uh, for other people, if you have not tried yet, please and start using Chat GPT because it will be the game changer for your life. Okay. To start with, is my screen visible for all? Enable to see my screen. Yes. Okay. So I'm. I'll be in the different screen. So I request someone to ping or just answer my questions, so that I I don't want to waste your time by looking at different screens at the time. Okay. So this ChatGPT is a product from OpenAI, and the OpenAI is the Silicon Valley's big threat. Uh, when I say big threat to the open uh, Silicon Valley is see the potential of chance, the open AI is uh, far more than our imagination. 
you just go through their web page, you can see their products. They have different products. They have Chat GPT, which is free to use for all. And uh, they have Chat GPT 4, which is paid version of the Chat GPT. And uh, DALI E2, it is a language uh, convert language to picture converting uh, AI tool. And they are, they are they are working on different different aspects of uh, the AI. So this Chat GPT is more uh, powerful tool as of now in the industry. And uh, Google Bard is another aspect of GPT. And uh, as we mentioned, GPT, GPT. What is the GPT? Anybody can answer. Anyone can answer my question on what is GPT? You can raise your hand. I can. I will unmute you. You can say the answer. Okay. Anyone? Okay, so no answers. Okay, one, two people are raised. Monica, yes. Yes, Monica, you can talk now. You can just unmute and you can talk. And Priyanka E also, you can just unmute and you can tell your answer. Yes. Yes, Alvindi. Yes, ma'am. And this tell. is chat generative pretend transformer. Okay. Uh, what does it mean? Generative pretend transformer. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for the answers. I'll, I'll, I also have to quite a few. Uh, answers in the chat box as well. Yes, thank you. See, uh, uh, we have to see what is uh, AI in nature. See, AI is uh, artificial intelligence, right? Uh, we have different types of AI. Uh, we cannot say uh, AI is in this way. So now we have uh, n varieties of or the very specific varieties of AI amongst us. For an example, I'm going to show you a screen. Can you able to see the screen? Yeah, in category. Yes. Yes, okay. So we have uh, four types of AI. The first one is based on capabilities, and next one is functionalities, and the third one is on applications, and fourth one is on implementation. Like these capabilities are narrow AI, general AI, and super intelligent AI. So this narrow AI are uh, AIs which can perform a specific task alone. But in general AI, they can perform multiple tasks. And super intelligence are AI which can replicate uh, a human. For example, you might have heard about uh, the humanoid robot. So what is the name of the humanoid robot? Have you heard of the humanoid robot which is famous? Sophia, yes, yes. Sophia is the uh, famous humanoid robot. So we consider as a super intelligent AI. And then the functionalities, we have different uh, varieties, reactive machines, limited memory, theory of mind, self-aware AI. And in the implementation part, we have machine learning, deep learning, 
NLP and the RP. This robotic process of uh, automation is a very long story. Most of our uh, industry already adopted for a full fledged of RP. And now we are going to, and shifting into the application based AI, that is generative, discriminative, reinforced, supervised, another type. This generative AI is a very, very useful and very, very powerful tool. For example, you want to create a PPT, right? You want to create a PPT. Previously, you used to go and refer a page or a book or any references, and you bring your you bring down your points and you put it on on a PowerPoint presentation, and there is a uh, PowerPoint presentation. What if I tell you just give a small prompt and uh, the prompt gives you the output of the exact PPT you are looking for. So that is what generative AI is. So here this generative pre-trained transformer is. The GPT is a trained model of AI. So this trained model means the data which is fed into the system. So the data available in the GPT is September 2021. So those who are already access to the GPT may aware of this particular constraint of GPT. So only the information up to September 2021 can be accessed. After that, you cannot access or there is no information for the system. So whatever content which generated by this particular thing from chat GPT is limited within that data framework. So it generates, it will create on behalf of human with basic prompts. So that is why this is called as generative pre-trained transformer. So it is already trained and it generates and it transforms the information from its system to your system. So those who get to open your account in a uh, chat gpt please today go and open your account in chat gpt uh, you can just log in using your email account and you can just click here try chat gpt and then you'll be here so since i have already have the account uh, I straight away I have logged in. Otherwise, you have to uh, just click login, and it's a very easy, simple step. So you can follow it. So there are two different uh, versions of the Chat GPT, as I told you. So GPT 3.5 is the uh, reasoning and the logical capacity which is lower than GPT 4. And in GPT 5, we don't have access to plugins or certain tools but in gpt4 we have access to a different kind of plugins you you have multiple varieties of plugins and these plugins are the real uh, game changers what is the use of these plugins are we'll see i'll be showing you uh, one or two plugins and uh, we'll see how the gpt4 can transform so now we are talking about gpt5 so there is a discussion once the GPT-5 comes, the GPT-3.5 will be uh, out of the league. And anyway, the users have to pay and start using the GPT-4. So that's what the, uh, the tech talks going around on GPT. And uh, the GPT having powered by uh, different type of data still up to 2021, it still has certain limitations on uh, providing the relevant and authentic data. So you cannot consider everything which generates on this particular tool is authentic or it is. You have to cross verify, you have to proofread it and you have to re look into the content before you use it. So basically, I use it for a kind of a reference tool rather than Googling it. Okay, so those who have the accounts, you can log into the GPT. And uh, those who don't have account, 
if possible you try logging in i just give you uh, 5 minutes time we can because you have to have the experience on your phone so please i'll give you 5 minutes time you just try to log in and maybe we can start working on it is it okay for all Yes, okay. Anyone having any issues on logging in? Please uh, let us know. Try to.
hope most of you signed in and uh, you have your opened your chat gpt window uh, shall we proceed further yes okay see few thumbs up coming up yes okay so uh, first of all i want to start from a basic uh, simple activities and then i will show you uh, how we can uh, leverage with the chat gpt4 with plugins feature so we'll start with very simple thing and uh, we will be uh, proceeding to the little higher advanced manner right so most of the uh, AI tools works on uh, a strategy called prompting. Okay, so we are planning for uh, a separate session on ChatGPT in the next two weeks. Uh, we'll be sending out uh, invitations for that. So we will talk more about prompting there. So today I'll be talking about a simple aspects and a very basic thing. So in the particular session on next week, I will only talk about ChatGPT and how you can use it. Right. So here, yeah. so please uh, feel free and uh, type uh, whatever you like to have. For example, now I want to have a summary or I want to go to get list of books for my marketing. So can you able to type list of books for marketing class so it is uh free flow you can use your own prompts and uh, just have a title list of books for marketing class whatever class you like to teach okay so i prefer marketing so i am going for marketing so i am going to list few of the books here are you getting it yes are you getting it how many of you have typed can i get a quick thumbs up from anyone yes i see a few thumbs up coming up okay uh is it my screen is not visible Yes, Lima Merimam, I have allowed you to talk. Uh, can you just tell me what is your query? Is my screen visible for all or is it not visible? Yes, visible. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Uh, Reshma Mam is telling not visible. Okay. So if it is not visible, please can you just uh, refresh and uh, you can see. So I I am getting the uh, list of uh, books which required for my marketing class. Okay. So it rightly mentions I can't tell a list of special class for your syllabus, but still it gives uh, provides a uh, list of books. Right. So now I wanted to uh, get a, a summary of any specific book listed here. Okay. Uh, for example, I want and I want to see the summary of book number four. Like it's it it is going to provide exactly. Uh, what are the summary of that particular thing? So before it finishes, we'll just go into the next tab and then let's Google it for one particular thing. Books for marketing management. Right? I get multiple options. Yes or no?
I am getting multiple options. Yes. Are you seeing the Google image uh, search page? Can you able to see it? I have displayed my screen. Uh, ma'am, can you just assist me when I ask questions? I'm finding it a little difficult. Can you unmute and answer? Is my screen visible? Uh, yeah, it's visible, sir. Okay. So, so you now you may have the doubt. So, what is the difference between a Google search image and this particular thing? The Google is kind of in a repository of different websites and it gathers the information from the internet and it provides you the uh, relevant uh, information. Whereas ChatGPT summarizes things for you and the tailor made contents are given to you. So if I am going to rely on this particular thing, I have to go into each and every book and I have to look for it. So typically I have to take a minimum a day to summarize 10 or 5 books, right? So in GPT, I can be able to summarize this 10 books in 10 points. For example, summarize the books for my presentation. So it is going to provide me with a summary of each book which is listed here right so it gives the exact crisp summary of each book so when i'm going to uh, search for my material i am no longer dependent on google links rather i get a very customized uh, content and a very customized resource for myself so i get entire uh, detailed uh, summary of the 10 books and now I can play around with this particular content which is created here for example see now it is in a list mode right uh, you can see the list mode here so now I wanted to create a, a table so I'm going to ask create a table with book name, author, and So we have generated table, right? Can you can you able to see the table as created here? And it gives precisely what manner we have asked for. Yes or no? Yes. Right. So here we have a content ready. And now I want to publish this as a, a small blog post in my website. Uh, how I can do it. So now I'm going to create a simple HTML page using this particular content. Okay. So I need to provide HTML code. Yes, I'm going to paste few URLs here from the Amazon. So
So now I have asked it to create a HTML code for myself. Okay. So I'm just creating it. And I also added one hyperlink. Whereas if I click on it, it should go to this Amazon web page. So, so the code is created here. So we can add all the quotes for the in each book like this. So for the sample, I have just added the one specific uh, information here. So it will be uh, providing you uh, an entire code for the entire table. We'll just wait for a few seconds. Yes. So now the code is ready. Right. So I am not from the uh, if I am not from the computer background with this simple steps, I can able to make my own websites in a simple manner. Right. So I'm going to create this. I'm going to save it in the HTML format. So just a few seconds. I will be. Can you see? Can you see the HTML page? So if I click on this, I'm being redirected to the Amazon's page. So I can add my own content for my own class from here. So just using a few prompts, I'm able to uh, create a simple uh, HTML page along with the content. Maybe I can keep on adding certain layers to this particular prompt and I can bring out most beautiful things from this particular tool. So this is how the generative AI works. And ChatGPT is the, uh, uh, what I have shown you through ChatGPT is the tip of the iceberg, not exact potential of it, but a small tip of the iceberg. Right? Are you all with me? Can you please uh, type yes in the chat box so that I can also feel how my audience are responding? Yes, okay. Yes, okay, fine. So I'm going to use the chat GPT to make a wonderful uh, sandwich of content okay so using chat GPT, what are the possibilities we have that's what we are going to see in the next uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll start exploring a uh, few of the other tools okay so as we mentioned the plugins of chat GPT is more powerful okay so in 3.5 you may not have the access to the plugins but whereas in ChatGPT4, you have access to different types of plugins. So here I have just used a very simple and a very normal plugin. Whereas I'm, now I'm going to show you uh, one plugin called Wolfform. Okay. So basically, Wolfform is a, a place where you get a lot of statistical data. Right. So those who are not aware of the uh, wolf form, it is an area where you get uh, n number of information based on the uh, numbers. Right. So you tap anything, it is uh, available. So such is the uh, advantage of using wolf form. For example, uh, I want to know uh, more about history. Right. I just go to Wolfform and I gather certain data. So what if I use Wolfform plugin here? So I have installed a Wolfform plugin here. So it's a very simple thing. If you have that GPT-4, you have this kind of option here in a GPT plus. So you click on beta, you have the uh, plugin store and you have a lot of, lot of plugins here right so 
so there are 86 uh, pages each page consists of minimum of eight plugins so you have a tremendous number of plugins so i have explored very few plugins which are uh, useful for me and uh, i am using it uh, quite a uh, quite some time so now we are going to see uh, the use of full form for example you are a history teacher you want to get the input of world war ii so just i'm going to see world war ii events okay just i have typed world war ii events so now the chat gpt uses the full form and it is going to provide the timeline for the world form for the world war ii so can you see from 1942 1945 or 46 it is showing as the events of world war so now i'm going to ask more questions i like major incidents in world war okay so now it is giving you the certain activities which occurred during uh, world war ii any history teacher here can you just verify it for us or any history enthusiast is it right hiroshima nagasaki was bombed during august 6th and 9th or 1945 is the information is true as yes or no yes yes okay uh, uh i get few yeses here can you can i get some thumbs up that i will be very clear for which question there is a yes is hiroshima nagasaki bombed during august 6th 9 1945 yes okay fine so so this is how the details you can gather very uh, easily and elegantly. Okay, I have created uh, I have, or I have generated certain content, right? See, now I, I cannot present it in the very uh, simplest manner or a very uh, casual manner. I want to give a special appeal to this particular content. So what I do is I copy this particular thing, okay? So... I'm going to copy this and I'm going to use a tool called Picture AI. So please note it down, a tool called Picture AI, right? So this is how the interface will look like. So Picture AI, I'm going to type it for you. Picture AI, Picture AI. Okay, so this is an AI tool which can create uh, different types of uh, videos using a script or a small article or even you can edit a video and you can also add certain visuals to the existing video. So now I'm going to uh, create a simple video using this content. Okay, so I'm going to put that as a world one two events yes so now next i'm going to select a template maybe i take this particular template and i'm going to use it for my youtube channel yeah so i have selected the ratio
you can also uh, try this particular tool and those who are having the access to the system go to picture ai and uh, just sign in and create some content from your chat gpt and try using it from the pasting the content and the click generate So would you like to try on your own? Yes, uh, there is a question from uh, Sangeeta. Are there any free alternatives to Picturey? Yes, there are multiple alternatives. Are there? There is Synthesia, there is Hegel, there is Picturey. See, one uh, one thing I I would like to address. See, uh, free alternatives are coming down. Okay, so most of the companies provided uh, free uh, access to most of the tools when I started using it. So now they have come into uh, place. A limited access to free access right so whereas a picture you can be able to generate quite a few contents provided it will have certain watermarks okay so now our video is ready i'm going to Show the preview of the video. Can you able to listen to the audio of the video? yes okay i got one thumbs up yes okay thank you okay so so this is see the exactly there what are the images available in the system it takes and it puts the image for yourself and then it just it adds the content there and it also adds the uh, audio file Can you see how relevant those images in this particular tool? See, as you uh, go back, see exactly the the scenario is exactly matching the world war ii arena okay so this is the uh, potential of ai in recent days so you need not to worry on who can edit a video for me you can provide a video content for me just create the content from using chat gpt and add it to picture or any other tool which can be used and you can create your own video so now I'll give you uh, another five more minutes so you can uh, log into Picture AI and uh, you can just add a small content using Chat GPT and you can uh, create your own video. So it is, as you see, it's just if you able to log into the specific tool, it, it will come up very well. So just you just go around and use it maybe uh, if you have time later on you can also try and there is a question how about copyrights of the used images so most of the images used in picture ai is stock 
images okay so if you are going to use it for free there will be emblem stating that it is a stock image so unless you pay they won't remove it so there is no issue of copyright and there is there is another way to remove this stock image if you go and uh, see about images right so you can also play with the images so these are the images which is already the system is existing but you can also upload your own images as well for example i am going to uh, download one image Poland equation right so just in case if this image is suitable for me i copy this image down here and i add it in my picture Can you see the image is changing now? So the copyright issue uh, will will be addressed to paying to the subscription. So if you are using the free version of it, the stock image will be there. So nothing to worry. And uh, they will also embed their own logo of picture AI when you download the video and when you upload. So you are not to worry about the copyright hope i am clear sorry i think uh i have missed my screen sharing so i'll just so this is the uh the previous image was different right so i have downloaded and uh, i am going to upload a video i am sorry i'm going to upload one image and uh, i'm going to replace this particular slide with this particular image so can you see so you can also remove the existing photos or videos which you feel free to use you can use it are there any doubts here any doubts here No doubts okay okay fine so this is one way uh, you create your videos okay there is another trend going around among our youngsters are uh, the shorts videos okay uh, rather than uh, tiktok or youtube shorts so all these things are very famous among our students so uh, it is very good thing to create certain shorts based on edu educational content and you can use it for your own uh, class activities or class purpose so if you are uh, able to create such shots it's going to be very interesting right so for this you can use the tool called flicky f e l i k i flicky dot ai okay flicky dot ai So just you have to uh, click on the new file as you log into the Flicky and uh, just click on the new file and uh, you can give the name for this World War Two events. 
I'm going to create it. Whereas in picture, you add a, a video, okay, with a certain text on it and a, a audio background for it. But I want to have a voiceover for my image, right? That will be uh, very good for me. So using Flicky, you can have voiceover for your own uh, text contents, right? So for this, I'm going to uh, download a few more images. Okay. Right. So I'm going to paste a content from my Dan GPT, okay. Uh, invasion of Poland. And I'm going to add an image for this. The second one, Battle of Britain. So I'm just adding here. I'm going to upload one more image. Finally, I'm going to add. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And I'm going to add so just to match my contents, I'm going to add my images here. Okay. So you can also have a art. So if you provide certain instruction, it will it is going to give you uh, an a art. Okay, D June, I'm going to put. So here I'm going to use an AI art kind of war scheme. Okay. So I'm just adding the AI art here for the specific slide. Okay, so now I have added the content, I have added uh, images, and I also uh, created a small uh, AI generated picture as well. So now the important part, the important aspect of uh, Flicky is the voiceover, okay, so which is a very uh, interesting one. Okay, so now I we have different type of voices. So there are few, uh, few free and a few paid versions. So I'm going to use only the uh, free version. So just you have to select the voiceover. What what style you want to use? Maybe male or gender. And what's the deep, the uh, dialect you want to have it in United States or India? So I'm going to select India. And we have certain uh, areas. We have Ajiti, uh, Prahad, Kajal, Mirja, right? So I'm going to select a Prahad male, and I'm going to select, and it's going to apply to all. Okay. So now I will check how the output is coming up.
of Poland, September 1939, this was the event that sparked the beginning of World War II. Germany invaded Poland using their Blitzkrieg air war on Germany. Can you able to uh, listen to the voiceover? Can you able to listen to the voiceover? Yes, right. So exactly like uh, Indian uh, uh, voice, right? So I'm going to play the another one. So I'm going to play this as well. Written July to October 1940. This was a major air campaign fought in the skies over the United Kingdom. So this is how this particular uh tool works okay so this is the simplest way you create your own shot you can add uh, a kind of uh, background music as well so i'm going to add a uh, background. invasion of poland september invasion of poland september poland september 1939 so here i am just Going to add a, a what background or video, maybe web background audio. Maybe I'll put it with the uh, you know, uh, a dramatic music, right? Invasion of Poland, September. Invasion of invasion of Poland, September. So, well, you want if you want to get the complete output, you have to go for the uh, export, and uh, this will be coming to your email ID. So, so you have to log in with your email ID, and uh, you have to check with this. Okay, so the completed file will be coming to your email ID directly, and it will take quite some time. So meanwhile, we'll we'll take up certain questions. Uh, how to change voice? You can tell that once more. Okay, from where to select that? Okay, fine. Uh, so you, I just close it because this is. If you see the fixed area, right in this area, so there is an option called voice over. Can you able to see it? Okay, yes. So if you select this particular voiceover, you can, if you click on this, you will have different voices. Okay. So now I have selected Prabhat. So maybe I can go with uh, Ishan. So I just select Ishan here and I add it here. Okay. Now. September 1939. This was the event that sparked the beginning of World War II. Germany invaded Poland using their blitzkrieg tactics, which led Britain and France to declare war on Germany. Battle of Britain, July to October 1940. This was a major air campaign fought in the skies over the United Kingdom. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the Royal Air Force defended the UK against the German Air Force. Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, August 6th and 9th, 1945. The United States dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This led to Japan. Okay, so here the same picture is repeated. So I'm going to change the picture for Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So I'm adding a, a different image here. Okay. Okay.
So I am adding in this particular theme or this particular area. Okay. So I can also see this uh, voiceover is coming up. So I, if I, if you don't want that particular thing, you can remove it as well. The invasion of Poland, the force defended the UK against the German Air Force. Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings, August 6th and 9th, 1945. The United States dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This led to Japan's unconditional surrender and the end of World War II. Today, June 6th, 1944. Right. You can keep on adding your own uh, content and uh, you can e eval e elevate the content output. Okay. And you can download this and you can add it as a shot. And the, you are going to become a, a digital creator. Right. Uh, I hope this tool is uh, helpful for most of us because we, most of our institutions are focusing on digital content creation. And uh, with this, we can really uh, shine it out. Shall you go to the next tool? Yes. Can I get some thumbs up? Okay. Fine. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, now we are going to see the another tool called. Uh, Two, okay. So most of uh, one or two have answered for two, and uh, I have selected uh, specific tools which can be used every day by a faculty, right? So mostly we depend on presentations. We have to create presentations for our own classes, for our own uh, activities, right? So we do uh, use presentation for a multiple occasion. What if AI helps you to create uh, presentations? That will be a major uh, outbreaking, right? In the chat, I have seen two people have mentioned about two. So for others, this is another uh, great tool. You can use it. So two is the uh, next tool we are going to see. How many of you have seen uh, uh, how many of you hearing about Doom for the first time? How many of you hearing about Doom for the first time? Can, can I have this quick access here in the chat box? Yes, okay. Steffi, uh, so I'm just asking you to allow to talk. Uh, is there any doubt, ma'am, Steffi? Okay, thank you. Fine. Okay. So I get two answers. Yes. Uh, Sonia, Mary, and uh, Sugana uh, mentioning that it's the first time they are using. Okay. So exactly you have to uh, use your Gmail to log in. So I'm not showing how to log in to the pages because it is self thought as you just log in, you can access it. Okay. So once you log in to this particular you can get uh, an icon like this, create, uh, and you have to just click create on it, and it will be uh, popping up this particular screen, okay? So it, there are different uh, aspects here, okay? Contact to support, uh, material guides, uh, prompt writing tips, rename to copy to link, share, export to PDF, record narration, set the map page. Okay, so here you have to uh, stick on to this particular thing. Okay, uh, create presentation about. Okay, now I am going to uh, create a presentation about World War Two. Okay, so I am going to add uh, 15 pages, maybe 
10 pages to cut short the time and I just add it in. So now it will give me the outline of it. What are the things I will be uh, getting in, in the presentation? So it is going to show which are the things it is going to display in the presentation, right? Uh, whether it is going to introduction uh, or it is going to give a content specific. So now we are receiving uh, introduction here. So the content style here, the war that changed the world as a title, the rise of fascism, Bills and Creek, Battle of Britain, Eastern Front, the Holocaust, the D-Day, the Pacific Theater, the Manhattan Project, the Alt Conference, the Aftermath. See, see, it's really exactly it connects what is we needed for the World War II presentation. Okay, then I just click continue and it is going to create the presentation here. Okay. And uh, the images also will be generated by AI. So you need not to worry about the presentation. So a very simple presentation, right? So just we are going to see it here. Can you see the war that changed the world? Rise of fascism, the type, the context of the presentation. So rise, rise of fascism. Can you look at the uh, image? which are created uh, using this particular tool. So it is very fascinating, right? Very clear, crisp, exact uh, image. So even if we ask to create such images and find out uh, what is suitable image, we can't do it. So, so see, can you see the images, the content which is provided and uh, this Battle of Britain, yes, it talks about how uh, Britain defend the Air Force of German. So the relevant picture is there and there is a content. And the Eastern Front, most of you might have watched about the, the West, uh, the, the famous movie, okay, All Quiet and West Front, okay. So exactly the resemblance of that particular movie scene, uh, if you have watched, okay. And the Holocaust, uh, the Nazi regime, uh, which killed... Uh, millions of Jews. So yes, look at the uh, constant consecrated cells. Uh, can you see exactly the refugee camp set up images there? And D-Day, so this is also uh, a very realistic image and the content. And the Pacific Theater, how the conflict between Japan and United States, which triggered the uh, US to drop the uh, atom bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So there is a theory that uh, US uh, submarine was, uh, sorry, Japan submarine was shot by US. So they came and attacked the Pearl Harbor. So, look, and then the Manhattan Project. So you might, if you're a Christopher Nolan's uh, fan, you, you cannot deny this. And the ALT conference, which started talking about stopping the World War II. See, is it is it a perfect presentation or not? Can I get a yes or no? Is it a perfect presentation or not? Yes, right. Yes, it is a, a very uh, perfect and a very crisp presentation you can make. And what are the other options? See, some of you might have. See, yes, I have content. I want to create my own presentation. Yes, there is a possibility of doing it. So go to create content. Uh, create. You, you have to use this create page about. Sorry, you have to select, select on document to presentation. Yeah, you have to select uh, uh, this particular option. And if you have certain content, you can paste it here. For example, uh, I have... A summary of uh, 10 different books, right? So I am going to copy this particular thing in the place. I just adding it here. Okay, so I'm going to generate this.
So it is it is a very simple presentation, and you can you can still edit. Uh, you can add certain color. You can you can add images you want, right? So I'm going to add a image of a book. Okay. So maybe just I will add this time being. Okay. So just I'm added it right, and I can also add narrations over here. So if you click uh, narration button here, I I can I can record myself what I'm talking here. So I I can create a very talk very good talking presentations. So what I used to do is I ask my students to uh, create presentation using two, and I ask them to. Uh, narrate it, uh, uh, narrate it, and share it among their friends. So that's how uh, you can implement these tools. Sometimes we can engage the students also through using this tool. I'll just show you one simple example of uh, how I have done it. Okay, so uh, quite hell a lot of uh, assignments I used to give to my students. So. So this is one presentation which is uh, done by one of my students using Zoom. So uh, he narrated well, and uh, we I don't create uh, my own uh, presentations. Right, I ask students to do it. So we take the presentations. Each one puts a different prompt and creates their own uh, presentation, and that comes into uh, a different type of discussion in the classroom. So we can able to discuss a lot of things rather than me alone talking there. So for example, so he, So this is how you can also uh, implement AI in your teaching uh, activities. And students will be uh, taking up these uh, activities very seriously and it will ask the, it will create some the curiosity among themselves, right? So this is uh, one way you can engage students productively using AI tools rather than you go and uh, talk more, about the content, let them talk. Uh, this also enables their uh, creativity, their communication skill, their presentation skill. So indirectly, I teach my subject. Indirectly, I also enhance their skill, right? So are we clear? Uh, are there any doubts? Any doubts? or no any doubts okay i take it as no doubts so i'll just proceed to the uh, next tool so the, the next tool is again on ppt creation you all know about google slides right so hope you 
you have used the Google Slides. So, so you just need to click into the Google Slides and uh, you create the new template or the new page here. As you see the extensions, okay? So there is an extension called slidesai.o, okay? So you can install this all as well. Slides. Dot. Slidesai.io. Okay, this is a Google presentation. Okay, so mostly we depend on uh, PowerPoint presentation for ourselves. Maybe you can use the Google presentation uh, and you can use this extension here. I have installed the extension. So it is a very simple thing. You have to go to extension, add on, and get add on, and uh, type slides AI. Yes, slides, slides, yes, slides, AI. Okay, create slides with AI. So I have installed already. So you just click it and it will be installed. Once you install, you can get this extension and you can see uh, generate slides under magic, right? And I'm going to click generate slides and I'll open this. And uh, it is going to set up things here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add my own topics, right? So I have, I have certain content here. So I just listed it. I'm going to maybe I'll come from one more thing. So invasion of Poland. I copied my content here. So I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven presentations. I seven slides I need. Okay. So I just click here and it is going to create my presentation. And the uh, Adding to this, Google also uh, also trying to implement uh, Duet AI, which will be uh, a revolution for content creating. Right? Uh, you can. Just... Balance, sir. Balance, sir. One minute, uh, sir. Yours. Screen is still in tome, sir. Uh, your skin, your screen is uh, doesn't change now, sir. Okay, okay, ma'am. Yes, sir. Is it visible now? No, 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 sir. No, no. It is still in uh, tome. Okay, okay. Is it visible now? No, sir. 
Yeah, now it is visible, sir. So, uh, should I redo the steps again or? You can repeat it, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll redo this again. I'll redo this activity again. Uh, so I'm going to uh, presentations by Google Google Slides. We call it. Okay, uh, click on blank, and uh, you have to go to the extensions, right? So you have to go to get add-ons, and in the add-on you have to go for slides.ai. Okay, slides.ai.io. Okay, so you just need to. Uh, use this particular plugin and you just install already i've installed so it's showing install you just click it will it will install directly nothing to worry about it will install in here once you install you have to see come to the extension again and you can see the slides ai and you can you have to select this generate slides right you can select the generate slides and then you come to this particular window in this window okay in this window you are going to get a message like this your own text from a topic okay so we have text already so we have text about uh, uh, World War II. So I need to have seven slides. I have one, two, three, seven paragraphs. So I'm going to add seven slides. And uh, I need to have a title slide as well as a thank you slides. And I'm going to add image. And you can also add the type of the presentation, whether it's for general, whether it's for conference or it's for education or sales. So it is for completely on education, right? Again, okay, selected education. Now I'm going to come to the themes. Okay, here there are different types of themes available here. Okay, so you you select any one of the theme and just select it, right? And then you have to click go to edit. And then I'm going to create slide here. So meanwhile, uh, I have to create. So there is a, a AI which is going to be introduced from Google, that is Google Duet. So this Google Duet is only accessible through workspaces. So workspaces means uh, a domain specific email IDs. For example, if your institution is having email ID from Google, for example, we have valentpeter.dbclegri.edu.in which comes from uh, Google Workspace. So using that particular workspace, you need not to in, implement any of these tools. It, if you just give the prompt in the slides area, it is going to give. So this is what they are talking about. As soon as this presentation slide ends, uh, I will show you what is Google do it. If you are not using uh, domain email IDs, start using it. If your institution is yet to register for domain email IDs, please ask them to uh, register for it and you'll get it. it month, Early, it will come around 1500 for a uh, specific thing. Okay. Okay. So it's showing me already I have reached my uh, limit of using it. So not a problem. So I, I used to do this. Okay. I copy this and I put it across. Can you see the presentation for World War II? It is not exactly like two, but uh, it is it has created something which is okay to use it. So 
Here you can add your own images. You can uh, replace the uh, content you want. You can add some more content, and you you have you have to do a lot of uh, manual work using this particular thing. And uh, this is also uh, helpful for people who create specific content, right? Uh, just I need to change the images and the slides now and then. For example, I want to uh, change this format. I will uh, differentiate this into this. Okay. So this particular tool will be helpful for people who really want their content to be published there rather than uh, AI creating entire content on the entire image. Is it clear? Uh, is it okay now? I uh, getting a uh, repeat, please. Uh, so what is it? Uh, repeat, please. Uh, are you referring to this particular thing or? Okay. Fine. Uh, any doubts? Any questions here? Shall we go to the one last tool? Yes, definitely. I will brief all the tools which I uh, thought before closing. Okay. And uh, next, we are going to see uh, one more interesting uh, tool that is called uh, Site Space. Okay. Maybe I can share my screen again. So you just have to confirm me. Right. So this is the another tool which is uh, very important for uh, people who are doing research and uh, people who like to do research and people already completed the doctrines and uh, doing certain uh, publishing work. Right. You have to go to this particular uh, website, sizespace.com, and if you log in there, you will get. Uh, I'll you are like this typeset.io. You just click this and you you'll be landing it here, right? So what is the use of this particular tool is see we have got different type of literature reviews, right? Uh we have uh n number of research works available. So I cannot keep on reading entire book, uh entire uh articles and then I look for uh, specific information right so this is the help of uh, this uh, this task is reduced by help of site space for example using site space you can read n number of research papers in a very useful manner for example I'm going to search a topic here AI in marketing so which is my uh, field of research. Okay, so uh, I'm going to collect a number of uh, research papers. Can you see the insight, the TLDR, the conclusion? So <coughs> it curates in you know, all the pages available in SciSpace, and it gives what are the things which can be uh, used for the researcher so i can access this particular
such particle and I can do this. Okay. And this. So I have selected one article from here. And this is the entire article. Can you see a co-pilot along with along the screen? Can you see the co-pilot here? Yes, can I get some quick yeses? Yes. See, this is the uh, wonderful feature in Science Space. Okay, so there are default questions are there. So now I'm going to uh, get the summary of this paper. Okay, so I'm going to just like summarize the introduction of the paper. It is done. So the paper discusses the application of automated marketing to predict next purchasing decisions of target consumers and improve their consumer journey to core element of AI, including big data, machine learning. If it is relevant to my scope of study, what I do, I go to the next step. So uh, conclusion from this paper. Okay. So what what they are concluding with? So they are under the future relationship between marketers and artificial intelligence. Okay, right. What are the limitations they are faced? So, okay, so I want to see what are the limitations they are in the paper. So it gives the paper does not explicitly mention any limitation. However, it is the important to note that implementation of AI in marketing may face challenges as data privacy concern, ethical consideration. I can keep on adding the questions. Okay. So maybe uh, I can add one more thing. What are the contributions of this paper, right? So I'm going to get input for this. The paper attempts to discover the future relationship between marketers and artificial intelligence and the machines insights and the potential impact of AI. Okay, so this is how you can use science space. And you can also add your own research paper and you can also get some input. For example, I'm going to upload uh, a research paper. Maybe. So I'm going to use this particular research paper and I am uploading it. So just I open this. So this is a PDF. So you can see this particular thing. Okay. So the system is risk in cryptocurrency market. So I'm just going to get uh, what are the methods used in this particular research paper. See the methods which are used in this particular paper. So they have used a specific model called Marg model. So if you if you are not aware of what is this Marg model, I'm going to ask what is Marg model. Okay, what is? So it is going to explain me what is smart model. It is multivariate, generalized, auto aggressive, conditional, hetero, zedastic model. Okay. So I can improvise my uh, research capabilities also. See, if I do this in a traditional way, I have to take a printout, I have to read, I have to refer to the Google or I have to refer to some certain areas. But within a single window, I can be able to access what I need. And I can get the answers for what I look for, for the, for the questions I look for. So I can increase my productivity very, very well. It will improvise my skill set as well. And it is going to enhance my uh, research activity as well. Uh, are there any questions here? Questions? Okay, right, I'll just check the no. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I think uh, we are coming to the end of the session. Uh, is there any? Uh, any doubts and clarification you would like to ask me or any specific tool you would like to discuss?
so there are multiple tools available there are uh, varieties of tools available uh, it's only matter of we explore and uh, we engage ourselves with those tools it is uh, it is up to our uh, trust and up to our uh, creativity using these tools so just to summarize so we started uh, with the chat gpt we saw how to create contents as i mentioned uh, we we can talk a lot about chat gpt so due to uh, time constraints i have just limited there so we have uh, another session we, we are planning to have another session completely on how to use chat gpt for your word excel and the powerpoint presentations so where we also will discuss more about that and we created certain areas uh, we saw uh, how to create tables uh, summarize and wow, how to use plugins and uh, how you can uh, implement the chat gpt for your content creation and then we went into picture ai so using picture ai we create a short video so why i have uh, using uh, such tools uh, these are the tools uh, very useful for the educators because we have to have interactive and we should have a very uh, collaborative learning teaching methods okay and for improvising the flipped learning these tools very much helpful so that is why i have went into picturey and the flicky and uh, using picturey and flicky uh, you can bring uh, wonderful contents for your classrooms and uh, next we went on to two to paint presentations and then we went to slides ai.io extension for your google uh, slides and then we saw about uh, size space right so there are a lot of tools okay uh, if you take into research then there is a complete set of different tools available so we are planning for uh, two more sessions uh, in the coming months uh, one is on chat gpt with uh, google uh, workspace and the next two is ai for research methodology so to conclude with i'm going to do one small exercise uh, what is the potential of uh, chat gpt in terms of research okay so it can be eye opener for you maybe it can uh, help you to understand what we are going to do in that particular uh, session okay so chat gpt is slightly uh, coming into the area of research and or slightly smoothening the efforts done by the researchers okay so i'm going to show you uh, how we can use chat gpt for our uh, research work okay so again we have to use the paid version of gpt4 so we'll be uh, depending on that particular thing so you cannot get it in the uh, free version of it so that's the one constraint we have but we have different tools for uh, research area which we cannot address it now maybe this particular exercise you can get idea of what is the potential of it and you go back you can uh, learn uh, better out of it okay so i'm just going to show you Just a minute, I'll, I'm just opening my ChatGPT account and I'll show you. Okay, it's ready.
Is my screen visible here? Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, uh, we have a Power BI our classes. Uh, we just planning for the content. Once we finalize the content on Power BI, we would like to roll it out uh, as well. Tabla, we have not yet uh, uh, mastered it, and we still uh, will look for the possibilities. Power BI, definitely we are looking for that, and uh, we'll be coming up with that. Right. And if you also would, we, we also encourage collaborative efforts from the participants. If you have ideas to do such programs, we are, we are open to host it for you and we can collaborate and do. So here I'm going to show you the, the potential of uh, a data analysis using ChatGPT, right? So I'm going to use a plugin called Notable, uh, which is uh, an AI powered uh, research uh, assisting tool, okay, or the analyzing tool so we'll be talking uh, more on um, research uh, related work there so we call it as a, a data set right um, we focus on that particular uh, area uh, a little later so this plugin is available in chat gpt 4 so i have stored my data in the notable website so i just need a url of it okay so now ChatGPT understood what are my files and what are my rows. Okay, so I have trained everything, what are my name, gender. So everything it is uh, analyzed well, okay. So now I'm going to show you uh, a very simple uh, analysis, visualization of the data which is available in the uh, notable, right? So are you following up? Following up with me, are uh, there any lacking? If it is yes, please uh, let me know, right? Because so now uh, I know what is there inside the data. So uh, I'm going to use a specific prompt, right? For example, I want to create I R or medium of study okay so i'm going to just right i am just given the so the plugin runs on the back end of the system and it is going to provide you with the the pie chart right so it, it, it will take a, a quite some time because it has to read from the one database. It has to redirect to our own database. Even if you have an uh, error in your data, right? It, it, see, uh, there was an error because of the variable data is not defined in the cell. Okay, so you have to uh, define certain way, but ChatGPT4 will understand what is the mistake in that particular data and it is going to create you the data for you. See, look at the visualization. Medium of study, English 50% and Tamil 50%. Okay, so even my data is wrongly mentioned. I suppose to mention each data in my notable data, age, data, gender, data, things. So I, I just put it my, uh, my own style, right? We all have our own style of adding certain data. So this way you can reduce the bias of data errors. Okay, exactly this. I can also show you the data set. This 50-50 is right. 
and I can also give interpretation for this. Please write interpretation for this medium. Can you see? So I can get uh, a simple uh, interpretation. See, I can keep on adding. I have added one more thing as well here. Uh, I have added a gender uh, table. So I'm going to create a bar chart for gender. So we can keep on adding uh, different aspects. So look at this male and female, right? So male participation and female uh, participation. I can add uh, different varieties of questions. I can ask for mean, medium, mode, and correlation, regression, heat map, whatever I like to create, I can create it in a minutes, okay? So this is the potential of AI and uh, this is the potential of uh, chat GPT. And there are different tools. Uh, you can not deny the impact of AI in your workforce in the next five to 10 years. So we have to adopt and we have to learn. And uh, yes, we have to be ready on spending a minimal amount to uh, accessing these tools. So we, we are not left out in the league, right? Uh, so with this, I would like to conclude today's session. Uh, if you have doubts, you can ask the forum is yours. You can just write your, write your hands. I'll enable you to talk and uh, we can discuss a lot. Uh, we, if you have any questions, you can ask and we can discuss. And as I mentioned in the, beep, the starting of the session, this session should be handled in a physical mode, right? Uh, if you have interest to connect these sessions in your own institutions, uh, we are ready to host it in your institution and uh, we will be traveling to you and we will give you the full support for this. Yes. Uh, are there any questions? Yes. Can we create higher models and data analysis? Uh, we can uh, create higher models based on how we try the model. Uh, for example, uh, how we set the uh, data set. See, I have not shown you the notable column, just I have shown you the chat GPT area. So when you complex the system, the work also a little tedious and you need to do a meticulous work. Yes, it is possible. And only one thing is you have to set your data right. You have to connect the data properly using the backend of the, the support tool. And then you can do this. And there is no limitation, right? So only the sky is the limit, but even we can break the limit of sky. Is there any AI tool to create poster? Uh, yes, uh, there are tools. Uh, you can use Microsoft uh, Designer for it. Uh, quick demo, uh, not exact uh, exaggeration of it. Okay, so Microsoft Designer, uh, is a one best tool for the poster creation. You have to log in and you have to uh, wait, add yourself in the wait list. Then you, they will give you the access. Still it is in the uh, preview mode, not the uh, complete version of it. Still people are working on it. And you can uh, just go to the Microsoft Designer web page and you add yourself in the wait list and they will give you access, okay? So I get it like that only. And most of the posters we have circulated used uh, 
done using this particular tool. So you just give, you need just need to give the prompt here, describe the designs you like to create. Okay. So I want to create motivation post for my Instagram. Okay, I just click generate. So it also gives certain suggestions. I right? try to write this suggestion. Create a motion in some post for inspiring the followers to achieve goal. So I'm going to use this particular prompt and uh, it is going to create certain uh, posters for me. Okay, so just I take this and I need to just customize it alone. Everything is there. And uh, if you want to add your own uh, logo to be there, I you just add your own logo. Maybe I will add my department logo here. So this is my department logo. So. right so yes your design is ready and you can post it so as i mentioned see we have just uh, seen the, the tip of the iceberg not the complete iceberg so we can uh, completely explore ai in a very different scenario but due to time and uh, other constraints we are limiting our content here Yes, feel free to contact us. We'll surely host the event for you. And, uh, any other doubts? Uh, one, there is the one chat asking about my contact number. I'll just uh, you can note down. Uh, it's there available in your in our group. If, if you anybody would like to note down my contact number, uh, this is a screen. You can just take a screenshot. Okay, so that my details. Okay, I'll just uh, share you my contact number in the chat box. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. I think uh, we are all uh, excited to look at the potential of AI. Maybe in next occasion, we can explore more. I assure you that. Is there any doubts? If not, we can close the session. It is already uh, 5 to 9. So we are late by another 30 minutes today also. So if I get yes, we can close it. We can call the day. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for attending the session. And uh, we'll try to work the continuity of the session tomorrow. <laughs>